All right, well, I hope you've enjoyed listening to these five great leaders as they've trained you on our business format system and those six steps. I hope you're, you're committed to mastering those steps, and I hope you'll be dead serious about it. If you're casual, you know, casual people become casualties in business, and please don't be casual about those steps, and you need to become an expert with our system. I want to spend a few minutes in closing this up talking to you about some MD responsibilities. I know some of you are marketing directors, some of you are not yet marketing directors. Those of you that are not MDs yet, our goal is to help you become an MD. This is an MD company and uh, one thing that's cool about our company, every leader you see in any leadership position, in fact these five great leaders that have just trained you on these system steps, they were once where you are today and where they are you can get there. In fact this whole system is about training you to get there. But as I said, this is an MD company, and either you're an MD or you're in transit to becoming an MD, and our goal is, again, to help you become a successful MD. I hope you're committed as a marketing director, and you MDs listen up close here. I hope you're committed to doing it right. I hope you're committed to making sure that every decision you make is made with the commitment to the highest levels of integrity and professionalism. Two great quotes that I've always loved. One is that there's no right way to do a wrong thing. We need to do what's right 100% of the time. And the second one is there's no pillow softer than a clear conscience. And when you've done it right, it helps you have a clear conscience. And uh, so I hope that you'll, you'll do that. In the back of the manual, uh, the business format manual, there's three pages on MD responsibilities. They outline responsibilities. I think, and I've always believed, the first responsibility and most important responsibility of anybody in a leadership position is to succeed. Not only doing it right, but you, but you must succeed. And I believe when you recruit one person, even just one person, you give up the right to fail. You've got a responsibility now to succeed. You're messing with other people's lives and, and their careers and their success. And in the back of the manual is information about offices and guidelines on opening an, uh, your local office and handling finances and paying your bills and savings. There's savings ratios in there, the 25% you ought to make sure that no more than 25% of your income is spent on personal expenses, no more than 25% on business, and a great goal is to save 50% of the income that comes through your business. There's training on staff, and, uh, and it's important that you have a staff and a lot of other things. Uh, and so I hope you'll study those pages. I don't have time, nor are we going to go specifically through those pages here today, but there's great reminders in there about, uh, about in, in employment and personnel issues and there's, uh, there's things on, uh, of course, unemployment and harassment and discrimination issues and other laws and ordinances that we need to commit to follow as leaders in our company. Uh, there's trainer, training on being a great motivation of, uh, or gr being a great director of motivation. And uh, one of the things I've always believed is, is that when you become a leader, you, you know, you don't, building your business is a process, not an event, but you build it from event to event. And you've got to motivate yourself and others to get to these great events, to make sure that all the, the giant business format schools and company events, you direct your people there. It's been said that human beings only change after significant emotional experiences, and people don't have significant emotional life-changing experiences in their own natural environment. You've got to get them out to these big settings to meet the big leaders and to see the big vision and the big picture of what we're doing. And so... Uh, Make sure you learn those things about being a great director of motivation. In the back, there's a, in, in the last few pages of the manual, the 10-point profile of, strong, of being a strong marketing director, attitude and income and being a well-rounded business person and quality business. But, you know, you, I mean, certainly the quality of the business you build and the quality of the business your team writes is critical to being a strong MD. Uh, to being a strong builder, which I know all of you know. Everybody understands, I hope by now, that it begins with what you do personally and it begins with what you do in your base shop. And so being a strong builder there is uh, principle number five in, that, in the manual. And then, of course, uh, moving into your own office. Every leader ought to look to the day when they're the leader of their office, when they, they're running the show. And I hope even you newest leaders out there that are watching this system training, that you're committed to one day being uh, somebody that's running and building an office that's like an MD factory that's spinning out other leaders. Uh, and of course there's training on so many other things there, those savings ratios that we talked about, taking strong exchanges, understanding those five exchange principles, and et cetera, et cetera. It's just so important that you learn those things. 
Uh, I said earlier in the opening of this uh, training that the size of your success is inseparably connected with the size of your belief in our company, in our concept, and in our system. But I also want to emphatically say to you that the size of your success is inseparably connected to the size of your team, the quality of your business, and the strength of your character and leadership. And I just challenge you to make sure in everything you do as you're building your team, leaders, that the size of your team, I mean, it really does matter. It's uh, at the end of the day, the size of your team is what determines the size of your success. And then let's have the commitment again to quality of business and strength of character and leadership. I hope this training's been good for you. I hope it's helped you in making commitments and I hope it's helped focus you on the things you've got to understand and do to make sure that you're successful in our business. I hope you'll, you'll become great at these principles personally. That means you personally get great at using them and implementing them into your own life. And then I hope you'll get great at teaching them to your team. And as you do so, I believe you couple these principles with your hard work and your focus. And please have fun while you're doing it. But together, I know we can help you build a great business and enjoy the highest levels of success as, uh, as we build this thing together. So take care. Enjoyed being with you.